Hi, I'm Greg, and in this video we're going to take a look at some of the weird things you'll find in Google Sky. We will take a look behind the scenes to see where the images come from and why these strange objects appear. First, let's take a look at some stars. A great many stars appear to have vertical and horizontal beams of light emanating from their centers. These are called diffraction spikes. Diffraction spikes are lines radiating from bright light sources in reflecting telescope images. They are artifacts caused by light diffracting around the support veins of the secondary mirror. In other words, these spikes aren't real. They were created by the telescope hardware and the CCD camera. They don't really exist except in the photographs. Now let's take a look at the inside of a reflecting telescope. In this drawing you can see the four veins, or brackets, that hold the secondary mirror in place. This is also known as a spider assembly. Here are some more examples of four vein spiders. Behind the secondary mirror is the much larger primary mirror. Does this look familiar? You may have seen a reflection of this type of mirror assembly in Google Sky. This type of artifact is caused by very bright light sources. In this case, the source is the dog star, Sirius, the brightest star in our night skies. There are quite a few of these artifacts in Google Sky but most of them are much smaller and don't have as much definition. The little blue donuts. There are red and green donuts as well. You can see the spider veins in this example. So where do these images come from? About 75% of the imagery in Google Sky is from the Digitized Sky Survey, or the DSS. The DSS got the images from two sources. It gets a little complicated, so I'll give you the short version. All of the images in the northern sky are from the 48-inch Ocean Schmidt Telescope at the Palomar Observatory near San Diego, and all of the images in the southern sky are from the nearly identical UK Schmidt Telescope at the Australian Astronomical Observatory in, you guessed it, Australia. The imagery is from the 80s and 90s, and some goes all the way back to the 1950s. <laughs> 